you may be wondering what type of music you can listen to. Okay. What is the message about? Is it about fornication? Adultery? Idolatry? Lust? Hatred? Anger? Murder? Rape? And other bad things? Is the message about those things or other bad things? Okay. What if you are like a container and you are constantly placing trash in yourself? Over and over and over again. What is going to come out of you? Trash, right? Kevin, I don't know why I have a cussing problem. Kevin, I don't know why I have an anger problem. Kevin, I don't know why I have disrespect toward authority. What are you entertaining yourself with? What if you chose to read your Bible often? Listen to teachings about God. Sing songs and listen to songs about the ways of God and God. Okay. What is going to come out of you? Yes. You know, you may make some mistakes, okay. But primarily, what is going to come out of you? I believe what? Things of God. You may say to me, Kevin, much bad music, as in the message being very sinful, bad. So most, so you may say to me, Kevin, most bad music have a really good beat. Good beat. Like, it is really entertaining. It is easy to dance to. You know, you may say to me that you are a hip hop rap type of guy and you like the whole, I guess, scene of sagging your pants and acting crude. Okay. I believe whatever we entertain ourselves with will have a great influence upon us. So if you knowingly, if you knowingly entertain yourself with filth, how can you expect to get closer to God? If this is bad music here and God is on the other side, there's a boundary, right? This is in the way of me getting closer to God, right? So if I continue to fail in the things of God, if this and that happens in my life because of this right here, what is the logical thing to do? 
take away the boundary, right? Please listen. I used to be very big in bad music. I used to like listening to Lil Wayne. <laughs> so awful, I think. Young Jeezy, Gucci Mane. What is that other person? Rick Ross and probably so many more. I was huge in music, but I wanted and still do want, I wanted and want to get closer to God. So what? So I had to take away what? The boundary, right? If you put anything, let's say this is God right here, and you have this in front of God, this in front of God, this in front of God, this in front of God. How can you get close to God with all of those things in front of him? Or how can I say, yes, in front of him, right? If anything, I believe you should push away those things and place God to the, fro to the forefront. Let me stop right here. God bless you.